Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture to see how those incidents affect our daily lives. Listen, this is another pop culture chat, and we have two items on the docket. The first one, it talks about Haley Bailey and DDG. Uh, it was reported earlier today uh, by a whole bunch of pundits that uh, Haley did a Glamour Magazine interview. And in that interview, she talked about uh, being a mom and being married and how those things are affecting her. And baby, when I tell you, uh, as I went into work, that was the story. As I'm here, and I had planned to talk about that story, but as I have gotten off work, we have found that somebody over at Glamour Magazine is over there cutting and copying and pasting, child, and messed around and copied and pasted an, uh, a snippet of an interview that they had with another couple about them being uh, newly newlyweds and being newly parents. And baby, it says here, now I'm reading from Pop Teens which is a blog post on the internet. It says that Glamour Magazine incorrectly placed a quote from Leanne Pinox in their interview with Haley Bailey, making it appear that Haley announced her pregnancy and marriage to boyfriend DDG. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something and why I want to talk about that. How does that affect our daily lives? Listen. Everybody's rushing to be first with the news that they're not being correct. And uh, shout out to whoever that was that pointed out that that was from another um, interview that Glamour Magazine had. But that just tells me somebody is over there copying and pasting and not really paying attention to detail. And that's the issue and the problem that I have with mainstream uh, news and anything like that. You all are journalists. You all are supposed to pay attention to detail. And because the information that you all are sending out because of your journalistic ethics is sacrosanct. You're supposed to be putting out the truth. I question it because there is the writer, but there's also the editor. And there's also the, uh, the copy editor. So there should be at least three people hitting that and looking at that um, article before it goes to print. And so I do understand that people make mistakes, but this kind of mistake is 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 crucial. I mean, I don't know, my lawyer friends, you let me know, but would Hallie, Hallie and DDG have a case for slander? That you run around here telling people that I'm pregnant because of a copy paste error. error. But uh, the one thing that I know that Glamour can do is that they can redact that whole statement and they can apologize to them. And I think that that would be OK. Now, going back, does does Hallie, if even if that information was true, does Hallie and DDJ have an op, DDG, excuse me, have an ob obligation to tell us anything? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But. This rumor has been prevalent probably for the past by the past four months. So we'll see if she's pregnant. You can't at, at, at some point you can't hide it. I don't care how many sheets and things like that. The only way that you can hide it is if we don't see you. So, but I thought that was interesting uh, how you how uh, a story changed so quickly, and I am so glad that I didn't comment on it. Uh, earlier this morning when I started to do this uh, pop culture chat. And our next and our final pop culture chat uh, article, <clears throat> excuse me, just a couple, is Will and Jada. So apparently you, you realize two years ago, Will wrote a book entitled Will, where he outlined all the things that was going on with him. And also in that book, he did outline that him and Jada were separated. And so here we have uh, last week or the week before last, the end of the, the week before last, Jada put out a book and it has been on the top of the news cycle for probably, probably the better part of four or five days. 
in which there are some things that she revealed, uh, uh, particularly that her and Will had been separated. She also revealed that Chris Rock had made a pass at her. Uh, and she revealed some other different things. And if you're more interested in what she has revealed, make sure you purchase the book. Here's the last thing um, I'm going to say on it. Uh, apparently, Will and Jada are actually in, in the process of writing a book together. Now, what that book will entail, I don't know. But do I have any suggestions? Sure. Here they go. I think that they should write a book. And if they're going to write a book together, I think that they should include their parenting style. I think that they should include um, their thought process on success and, and, and how do they matriculate through life about their uh, Hollywood success. I would also want to know how they're matriculating through uh, this Currently, this Hollywood downfall with Will being um, barred from the Oscars and he is no longer on the short list of, of actors that people want to be involved with. I think that uh, a book about the industry, if they wrote a book about the industry, that would be a great, great manual um, and write it in a workbook style so that the, the, the young folks can get through here and talk about all the little different things and check things off. I think if they write a book about how to be successful in the industry and get some uh, co-authors that are also working in the industry in different areas in the industry, I think that that would be a great book uh, for them to put out. Because I think we are just kind of played out about their personal life. But tell me what y'all think. Tell me what you think about this uh, Haley Bailey and DDD story uh, where Glamour uh, erroneously placed in there that the, that the girl was married because whoever it was that compiled the story copied and pasted uh, excerpts from somebody else's story. And tell me what you think about Will and Jada writing a book. And uh, my suggestion about writing a book about being in the industry and how to matriculate through the industry, the ups and downs and the foibles and all that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments. All right, people, we do this every week. And if you like what you hear and see, please give a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to my page. I am almost at 300 subscribers. And again, I cannot be more stoked. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. All right. I really would appreciate that. All right. Support the channel in any way that you can. Leave me a comment. I love engagement. Let me know that you watched it and say, hey, how you doing, Pam? I liked your video or I disliked your video. Just let me know. All right, people. And as always, bye-bye.